Hello Rugby fans and welcome back to Rugby Union Team Manager 4, our series as the Taunton Titans, starting in the National League 1 and hoping to work our way up to the Premiership. Now so far this season it's been more miss than hit, played 3, won 1, lost 2. Um, yeah, in our previous game, we did come out winners and picked up our first win of the season, which was good to see. And since then, off camera, I have made some signings and we are really turning into the Bristol Bears A-team. Now, before we get into today's episode and see who we come up against and the latest starting 15, please do drop a like. Leave a comment down below. As always, give me your thoughts on this series and where, what you think I should do. Any advice is always grateful, and if you haven't already and you want to stay up to date with this series, please do more that subscribe button. So we've made some changes, and I'm making some changes to the structure of this series as well. If I fly over to players, um, you'll see the latest incomings if we get to team selection. Uh, we are really the Bristol Bears B team. We have brought Joe Owen in, the youngster, 21 years old at lock, to partner Charlie Rice, who of course is already here on loan. We've already got George Klosker at prop, who has signed on for this season. Uh, we've brought in experience number 8, Ryan Burrows, at 34 years old for a couple of years, just to really sure up that number 8 position. Of course, we've already brought in Matty Jones, a 21-year-old, 51 overall scrum half. Um, previously, you had seen as well that we had brought Jack Bates in on the wing, another Bristol Bears player. And we've also brought on the other wing, Toby Fricker, the 28-year-old, fairly experienced Welshman uh, to play on the other wing. He can play fullback as well, as can Jack Bates. So we've got a good selection now of Bristol Bears players. And our squad is also very, very strong for this National League. You have to admit, uh, you know, there aren't any real weak links. Perhaps the only, uh, the front row are all sort of 39 overall, which isn't too bad in the National League. We then have Charlie Rice, 39, Joe Owen, 44. Uh, Charlie Wright, 45. Walker Blair, 43. So again, good. Burrows, who we've brought in, is 48. Matty Hughes, 51. Uh, Matty Jones, sorry. Ewan Jenkins, 41. Fly half could possibly be some that we look at. Um, Fricker is now at 45. I mean, the backs are all very, very good for this standard of rugby. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that. The only unfortunate thing which I noticed after signing our last couple of players is our financial balance is now in the minus. Um, so yeah, we will probably need to look at getting rid of some players and um, putting them on the transfer list. few players injured or banned, which is unfortunate. Um, Connor Baker, I think he's on the bench. Sam Hasek. Can we sort of put these boys... On the transfer list? Transfer listed? No, transfer listed. Yes. I mean, we're gonna. Can we? Don't think you can actually get rid of the contract, can you? No, it doesn't seem to be. 27 years old. You don't really want to pop him into the academy. I'll have a look at that off camera probably because our squad now is at about 48, I think. Um, which certainly isn't needed, and that could be a way of getting funds into the team. As you can see, main squad 48. Uh, we've got no academy players and we've got no Colts, um, so they're not going to get any game time in the that sort of area anyway. But yeah, let's continue. I think... Oh, we've got some injured players, of course. I forgot about that. I think what I'm going to do probably is simulate a few games and only play one proper match and episode so that we can fly through these seasons a bit more you know it's a long old journey um, we need to bring a scrum half in which is going to be lewis webb because matty jones is injured and we also need to bring in a flanker because charlie white is banned um 
So let's bring on Joe Ellsworth. And we just need to put a couple of people onto the bench. So we put Sam Pryor on there. And who was the uh, scrum half the other position? Uh, so let's find ourselves a scrum half. That will be Connor Banks who comes onto the bench. So yeah, let's have a look at our next game. We are playing the Leeds Tykes who I imagine are fairly far up the divisions. Let's quick sim and see how we get on in this game. Um, if it does anything from there. We seem to have frozen. Here we go. Quick sim and an easy 14 to 0 win for the Titans. Now that is unexpected. Um, Ewan Jenkins, the fly half, man of the match. Uh, let's see who, see who picked up the tries. It was Frankie Dart. Right, only, only one try there, so. Yeah, strange one. But that'll do 14 0 so already paying off here no yellow or red cards lovely home win lovely and that is now two wins on the bounce so already some improvements to the team as you can see we're up to seventh now which is good and uh yeah leads where were leads i mean mean they were in sixth so that's no mean feat whatsoever um, to pick up a win against them. So very, very happy with that. And yeah, let's try and sort of simulate two or three matches, play one real match each episode, and let's fire through the season. Here are some other results coming in around the country. Sail Sharks, 82 points on the board. Very nice. Uh, lots of advancing at the minute plenty of games going on but yeah i mean we're sort of looking at this taunton side i mean if i can sign bristol players then yeah that is fantastic um obviously i am the bears gamer i am a big bristol fan and um, of course i support the old local rugby as well link to emails we've got a transfer bid enter negotiations we are just gonna accept that i think and close bank balance our bank balance overall this reflects badly on our club please take measures to rectify this well i am i've just sold someone what is our bank balance like at the minute so we're minus 37394 um so yeah let's get back to the team selection for the game uh, for the next game see if anyone's back from injury um charlie Right, looks like he is still banned, yep. Yeah. Matty Jones is still injured, so we'll keep it as that. We'll reward the 15 who played in the previous game. And Baff, smashing Bristol, dear me. Not something I wanted to see there on the advancing screen. But yeah, this is a video game, certainly not real life, but the Bears Academy did win. Um transfer bid so we got some more transfer bid we've got a fine of 30k facilities not meeting league standard we're going to enter that will vaughn and we're just going to accept so we can get some of this money back bank balance is still overdrawn i know let us go back to the main screen back a minus 93,000 again now not good at all. When are we going to get some sponsorship money? Is what I want to know. We've got one band. Zero players injured. So let's get Matty Jones back into the team. Ready for the next game against the Rams. Here he is. Let's get him back there. Scrum half. And Lewis Webb will come back in for Connor Banks. Where are you, Banks? There you are. So that's one player back. I mean, what more can I really do? I mean, I knew I should have...
paid attention a bit more to the overall balance when signing these players, but surely they can see that we'll get that money back. I know it reflects badly on the club, but come on, we're thinking of the future of Taunton. Once the sponsors come in, you know, once we start moving our way up the leagues, you would think that money would certainly bounce back. Let's see what we've come up with here on the advancing screen. Lots of different results, league results, things like that. I like to try and keep an eye on Bristol if I can. Can't see them there. There we are. There are band players in the main squad. Right. So we've got a band to look at. Chance a bid there. Enter negotiations. Accept. Get you out of here. I know the bank balance is overdrawn. Let's have a little look. What are we on now? Minus 80 something thousand. Um, how many more players are transfer listed? Oh, oh, hopefully it doesn't affect things, but I don't want us, you guys to just sit here and see all this dribble about player contracts and things like that. So we need a wing to come on. Uh, we'll get our main guy, Kladis Klauskis, back on. The Bates, who is suspended. And then we'll need a new wing. Greg Kitson on the bench. Is Charlie Wright back to full capabilities yet? Where are you? Yes, he is. He can come in at flanker for Ellsworth. And Ellsworth will go back onto the bench for Pryor. Right, there we go. Continue. Match day. Begin match. We are playing the Rams. So same again let's simulate and then i think we'll play the next game because we've done a bit of fiddling about let's see if we can come away with another win against the rams and we have 17-9 tom popham man of the match so things are looking good try scored from fraser and again that's it for some reason it just says fraser with the only try I mean, it's impossible to get to 17 with more, without more than one try. Uh, so that's good. Pop him with the man of the match. Let's exit that. Let's get back to the messages. Home win. Everyone's happy. No yellow or red cards. Back to the home. Let's have a look at the latest standings. And we're now up to third. So things are looking very, very good all of a sudden. Except for the overall bank balance. In terms of rugby on the pitch... It's going in the right direction, which is fantastic. We'll see how our next match is, and we'll play that one before we wrap up episode number five. Yeah, yeah I mean, I've, I know I've been told and suggested from other people just to play a lot more simulated games, but there is a lot of waiting around with the advancing and things like that. I don't really like to simulate things off camera just because I want to keep you guys involved in the series and see every result as it comes in. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you not mind a little bit of waiting around? Or do you prefer just sort of in and out? Would you mind me playing games off camera? player has left that one's done there's another player out the way yeah i'm doing all i can to rectify it i certainly am we're now minus 48 uh we've got sale in the next game who are certainly a good team so we'll play that one and then we will wrap up the episode more transfer bids which is good to see another transfer listed player we're just getting rid of these guys to reduce the squad down get that bank balance up we're up to minus 36 so still not great still not perfect Let's see if we can sell a few more players bristol did i just see bristol beating the ospreys 
in European action. Good to see. Uh, looks like they played Quinn, so I misread that one. There we are. Oh. Blimey, it's hard to uh, see. It's like a mini printer in football running down the results, and it's doing it so quickly that you can't really do a lot else. Lots of results coming in from the real world. Advancing. Yeah, this is um, maybe something they could look at updating is the speed of the advancing. I know they've got lots and lots of games to get through and lots of leagues and fixtures and things like that and you can't really do much about it, but it would be nice to speed through this advancing stage. I mean, look at this, it's taken a fairly long time. Before we can get back into the action, which hopefully is coming up right now, it is. Injured players in the main squad. The bank balance is overdrawn. Personality, Matty Jones has had a death in the family. We have given him three weeks. Oh dear, Matty Jones is gone. For three weeks. Let's get back to team selection. We've got an injury at prop as well. Tight head. Browse. So Webb's going to have to come in again for Matty Jones. There he is, Lewis Webb. Um, and we need a tight head prop on for Prowse. So that will be Connor Baker. It will be coming on. Who else have we got? Is Jack Bates still? Yep, he's still suspended. So we need another scrum half. Where are you? We need a scrum half onto the bench. Where are you, scrum half? I swear we had a um, another scrum half in place somewhere. Am I just being sh completely stupid? Either way, we'll get Isaac Dalton onto the bench there. Where are you? Lewis Webb is starting. No, I'm guessing we just put a utility back on the bench. And go from there. So let's begin match, and yes, we will we'll attend this one and watch it just to get some game gameplay footage into this episode. Three wins on the bounce as we face Sale FC. Fingers crossed, we can come up with a win at Veritas Park. Fitness and morale is through the roof for Taunton. Let's get things. Speeding right up. Auto manage everything. What sort of view should we have on the pitch? Side on. That'll do. Let's see what we got then. Sale have got the ball early on. Penalty decision. Kick for touch, I think, there. Line out decision. Center drive. Seems a little bit glitchy today on the old match engine. Not sure why that is. Sale have turned it over, but they have knocked it on. Let's try and pass wide now. We have got a penalty. Let's kick to touch. Let's put them under some pressure. We're playing well. Let's use the driver more to see if we can get over the line. Yes, here we go. Looking good. Boom. Try. Ewan Jenkins converts the points as well. So we're halfway through the first half. 
Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Tom Popham has gone all of the way. Received the kickoff and ran one length of the pitch to the other. Jenkins can't convert, but that is probably one of the best tries I've ever seen on Rugby Union Team Manager. Fantastic effort, really was. So the Titans, with their new players in and amongst it, seem to be playing very well at the moment. Although Sale have got things in a good position here. They pass out wide, some good defending. Just under 10 minutes to go for half time. And they're in. Nev Edwards, the fullback, scores. It's now only a five point game as we come up four minutes to half time. And oh, it looked like they were going to do exactly what we did. The number 12 picking up the ball, they've knocked it on. Last two minutes with a scrum. We've won a penalty. No option to kick for goal. Let's see what we can do with this final action of the first half. Have they turned it over? Yes, they have. So you imagine they're just going to kick it into touch from there. Nope. They're playing very adventurous. They're trying to get it out. Playing out from their own 22. And oh, apart from a sloppy pass there, they were away. We have won the ball back. We are making ground. Is someone going to up and under? Well taken. And we've knocked it on. So that's half time. Um, defense base. Let's get a defense base talk going. Let's get a nice long kickoff. And let's put some pressure on them instantly here in this second half. Centre drive, I think. We've got some good centres. Let's make the most of them. Though it didn't happen that time. And we've got an injury. Doesn't look like we need a replacement at the minute. Or, of course, the ball hasn't gone out of play for there to be a substitution yet. Up and unders everywhere. Not sure why it seems so glitchy. They've won a penalty. We've managed to make the change. They've gone out wide. We've got about tw just over 20 minutes left here. And it's a one score game. So it's certainly not wrapped up. Not sure what's happening here. Distance to goal. Let's try. Ewan Jenkins. This is your moment. Beautiful. Eight point game. That gives us a one point cushion now from a converted try. So they're going to need to score twice a sale in the last 15 minutes. That was a real pressure kick. Well done, Jenkins, on that. We've got the ball. We've got. Oh, they've turned it over. We've got 10 minutes left. Their number 10, Mark Dixon, has gone in for the try. And they've converted. So it's now a one-point game with eight minutes to go. A big, deep kickoff. A knock-on. Lovely to see the knock-on there. Won the scrum. Uh, this is difficult decisions because we can go for the three, but that doesn't really change the position of the game. Shall we go for our successful driving more from earlier? See if it can happen again. Yes. We're moving. And we're over the try line. That is game set and match, you would hope. Nice conversion there. And we're back to being eight points in front. 80 minutes on the clock. Kick the ball away. Kick the ball away. Why, oh, why? Did they not just kick the ball away? That would have been the end of the game. And a good victory. I know we're going to win anyway. 
but we're giving Sale a chance to get a losing bonus point for starters. Here we are, right under the camera. You've still got the ball. Still got the ball. We've got it now, right. Just kick it out. Kick it out. There we go. Finally. That wraps up the game. And another impressive victory for Taunton. 22 points to 14. Lewis Webb, the scrum half, man of the match. Let's get back to the main menu. And wrap this episode up. So let's just check the emails. Home win. Connor Baker's injured. 12 weeks. So there's a lot of injuries going on and a lot of suspensions. But we'll leave it there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please do drop a like if you had. We're there in third place on the table. So things are really looking up now. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think of this series. And if there's anything you think I should do. And if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button to stay up to date with the channel and this series. I will see you in the virtual scrum. Man I'm from Bristol. Take two shots of the ting. Come let it ban like a pistol. Girl in the party blowing the ting just like a whistle. Yeah, they love their god, but where we're from, it's more like a crystal. Cause man I'm from Bristol. Man from Bristol Take two shots of the ting Come let it bang like a pistol Girl in the party blowing the ting Just like a...